see a lot of videos on YouTube where people uh, show show off radios that are from the late 70s, early 80s, and call them transistor sets. They're usually made in China or Hong Kong if they're earlier 70s. And yes, some of them may be transistor sets, but I don't feel as if they're really transistor sets. I don't see many videos on, on YouTube where people really show uh, actual transistor sets. So I thought I'd make a few of my own. And this is the first of the of the few. This is a uh, radio that I feel really represents what a transistor radio is and where they came from. This is, give it a minute to focus, a 1955 Radeon Model 8 TP2. Hold on, my lens is dirty. Let me, let me clean it off. There you go. 8 TP2. This is the leather covered model, and this was considered to be the first serious transistor radio. This was the second transistor radio on the market, only a few months after the Regency TR1. The Regency went on sale in November, and this is one on sale in April of 1955. Uh, TR1 was obviously 54. Um, this set does play as I have replaced the capacitors, though I have restuffed a few and the rest of my hid so. The radio retains the original look of the paper uh, and early electrolytic capacitors, but has the functionality of new capacitors. Um, this set uses all blue Radeon transistors, uh, CK722s in the output, which doesn't really give it much kick, but, you know, whatever. Um, this has um, a mixer, separate oscillator, uh, an IF amplifier, a diode detector, two audio amplifiers, and then push-pull output. And uh, this was a much better performer than the 4-transistor TR1, which actually had an IF frequency of 262 kilohertz, while this is 455. So I'll be able to do a little demonstration here. They got Tim Lincecum with a 9 and 8 record against Dan Hudson for Arizona, who has gone 10 and 7. into your uh, travel bag because if you get uh, traveler's diary it's actually a pretty effective way of dealing with it and you know the set is in very good condition uh, very little damage as you can see um, the handle was not actually attached to the set when I bought it and I had to reattach it uh, but after some work I have a really nice displaying and very nice playing radio it was very dirty and because of that, I got a good deal on it. It was a diamond in the rough. And probably one of the best attributes, I have to say, is the speaker grill. Literally, let's go in a shallow angle, has no dents in the front or the back. It is immaculate. And that is sure a good thing if I want to put it on display. Thanks for watching, and there will be a few, more, a few more videos of my transistor sets. Uh, so, thanks for watching.